Day two of testimony in the murder trial of David Stahl, accused of strangling his school teacher wife, Rebecca. Today, jurors heard tapes from the very first police interview with Stahl. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ashley Hardaway joins us live now. And Ashley, new photos were also presented today. Yeah, Andrew, those photos were autopsy and crime scene photos. Very gruesome, and they caused Rebecca Stahl's family to grow emotional in court. In fact, before those photos were published to the court, David Stahl, the defendant, was seen wiping his eyes. Now, before any of those photos were published, jurors also heard the first taped interview between state police and David Stahl, in which he flat out denies knowing anything about his wife's disappearance. Okay, do you know why we're here or why I've been talking to you for the last two days about the disappearance of my wife? Jurors heard David Stahl, in his own words, deny he knew anything about his wife's disappearance on February 22, 2012, which was four days after she died, investigators say, at the hands of Stahl himself. Today, the all female jury viewed graphic crime scene and autopsy photos depicting Rebecca Stahl's body wrapped in plastic and left in an old plant nursery along Bell Memorial Church Road in Unity Township. Jurors also heard state police question David Stahl about the the various inconsistencies he gave them regarding stories we now know he made up about his wife being alive in the days that followed her actual killing. Okay. Do you know where your wife is at? No. Have you seen her? No. When was the last time that you seen your wife? On Monday afternoon. Jurors also viewed these evidence photos that depict a refrigerator freezer in the Stahl's Hemfield Township basement. Inside, a black garbage bag that contained men's clothes, work boots with plant material found at the scene where Rebecca's body was found, and Rebecca's personal items, including an old, burned driver's license. Now, again, defense attorneys argued yesterday during their opening statements there's no question their client, David Stahl, killed his wife. The question jurors will have to answer is is he guilty of first degree murder, third degree murder, or involuntary manslaughter? Now, essentially, defense attorneys are arguing that David Stahl did not intend to kill his wife, and that's something that the jury will have to sort out. District Attorney John Peck anticipates they will get the case and begin their deliberations on Friday, although, of course, anything could change depending on how this trial progresses. Now, you heard me mention in that story that troopers pointed out some inconsistencies with David Stahl when they were interviewing him in these initial phases. We will bring you one of those inconsistencies coming up in our six o'clock newscast, so you want to make sure to tune in for that as well. For now, the reporting live in Greensburg, Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Ashley, thank you.